The weekend is usually two days, but it does take longer sometimes to recover from uh, various forms of exhaustion, particularly if you're pulling an all-nighter on a weekly basis. <laughs> so, um... It, 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 this is what happens when your day swings around. It, it, it does a slow rotation, and things move forward. They move backwards again. Uh, but there are certain things that have uh, still have to be done in a timely fashion. It just what happens is that uh, it never seems to correct the uh, sleep patterns at all. But anyways, uh, this is the beginning uh, of the vlog for... Thursday, November 26th. It is, well, 8 hours and 56 minutes into the day. So, so this is around 9 o'clock in the morning. The fatigue hasn't left me yet. And so this is affecting some of my performance. And that's sort of the the, the, the the constant the constant throughout the day is this level of exhaustion that sort of just follows you around, uh, makes you lethargic. You do get work done. I mean, I I, I did uh, uh, achieve to uh, clear off a, a large number, a, a, a good amount of space uh, for the new dryer. I haven't done the assembly yet. I still have to work on the configuration of that uh, laptop to do the. Uh, Sound test to get the the uh, piano working, uh, but uh, that's the uh, wait, wait, let's see if we get, get the uh, yeah I want to get that piano working, and I need the laptop to do that because it's a, it's a uh, it operates the sound comes through the uh, 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 laptop through the um, uh, uh, the the uh, uh, call digital audio workstation. It uses a we call a MIDI map system uh, to generate the sound. So it, the sound isn't actually in the piano itself. The, this one up here has uh, everything inside of it. The one below doesn't, and so you do need a, a system to uh, 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 a, a laptop or something like. Oh. or something like that to sort of get the sound to come out of it. So I do have a number of options. I do have a number of uh, of, uh, uh, of choices that I can make, but uh, we'll sort of have to get 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 into it and sort of figure out how I want to actually do things. So uh, that still remains to be seen. But it it it, 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 it these things are a process. They will get get done. This got done. Is it, it and it gets done in a manner that you don't necessarily expect either. There's no sort of anticipation as to how these things get done uh, because a large chunk of your schedule simply fall off or at a minimum is skewed due to the level of fatigue that this, that, that's around and so what happens uh, no what happens yeah <laughs> flipping uh, tripping over my own uh my own uh, misstatements. Research when you do a deep dive research and you you're following a trail on something, it causes you to lose track of time, and you spend a minimum of three four hours, and you look up and you say, "Where did the time go?" It was you know, you you thought it was going to be short, but it's not short. It's It took up significantly more time than you expected it to. So that this this is what throws off your sense of expectation, because your expectation depends on a schedule. But if you're scheduling, the how you how you you look at your time frame. If how you look at your time frame is off or skewed, then the end results are going to be skewed as well. So. This is what causes a large chunk of the problem. Is this whole business about being having your sense of time frame skewed, and it has to do with the research. The more you do the research, the more your time frame is skewed. You don't realize how much time has gone by.
And the thing is, when you do when you do the research, you assume everybody else has done the same thing. They're, they're going to go out and do some research because they say, "Oh yeah, I'll go take a look at that." But not necessarily. They won't, they won't do the research. They'll do maybe basically a fragment of what you did, and then they'll come back and make these make statements and pronouncements based on whatever they saw. And more often than not, most people don't. Don't go below the surface. They'll, they'll see something on top, and that's about it. And their understanding will be will be significantly off. And it doesn't matter what their title is. And this is from people who are idiots to people, well, you know, no degree, or, or what's it called, the uneducated, to those who have top level degrees. The status of the person doesn't define what they understand and what they know nor does it make them an intellectual. Most intellectuals are, are actually quite limited in what they actually know because they quote from other people. Their knowledge is based on other, other people's work. And that's why, yeah, they're able to quote a lot of other people, but they have no thoughts of their own. I met a number of liberals like that. Liberals like that. And I've met, well, there are like, a lot. The liberals that I talk about, are a lot like the Christian conservatives. And so I'm, I'm not a Christian conservative either. Christian conservatives are focused on the law. Where the in, the liberals are focused on the intellectual. Both have significant flaws in that they they don't really see the world proper. They don't they don't see the world as it is. They see the world through their own sense of self. And this is why many of the, uh, the, the, the sort of called the gurus, uh, which why I am one, uh, they talk about doing exercises to remove the self, to, to limit the self so that you can see beyond yourself. Because the self really in many cases dictates how we see things. The intellectual sees things from an intellectual point of view. And tries to bring in reason and logic, but the logic often fails. And when the logic fails, they ignore the failure of the logic and continue on insisting their particular view is correct. Uh, the person who is law does no thinking whatsoever because they're fo simply following the law. And this is what most of the conservatives are like. The, most, these, the Christian conservatives they're fundamental to the law. They're not actually fundamental to the Christ. They call those Christians fundamental, but they're not fundamental to Christ. They're fundamental to a particular law. And this is why they associate themselves with Israelis and, 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 and so-called Jews, because they are law-focused. But yet, if you read the Gospel, you understand that the, the, the Jews were condemned. Why were they condemned? They were condemned, like the Pharisee was, because they were self-righteous. They follow the law, they, 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 they so focused on the law that they forgot God. God became, the law became more important than God was. That's what this whole, the whole why, why did they crucify Christ? Because the law became more important than, than God did. And that's how they stand. So what happens is that the person who is a liberal and the person who is a, a conservative, they're equally from the perspective of dharmic living, are outside the dharmic realm. They're not spiritual. They're not... Uh, they don't have a spiritual nature. And so they will not have... A spirit, they will more likely not, not have a spiritual existence afterwards. So the question is, where do you choose to go? What? How do you choose to see things? Do you choose to see the reality or your own reality? And this is problem. Part of the problem is that most people choose to see their own reality. Time gets away from you when you don't realize it's the American Thanksgiving. It's November. It was November 26th. We just finished that. Uh, it is now 1 o'clock in the morning on the 27th. It's uh, officially Black Friday. It's the time 
when the stores are officially in black, <laughs> they, they, this is when they're now in a in, in, in profit mode. Every for the rest of the year, they are operating in the red. They owe money. Uh, anyways, uh, I did ride back today with my scooter, but I forgot to put the uh, camera on the, uh, the the GoPro camera on the uh, scooter, and so there's no vlog riding home. <laughs> Uh, that happens sometimes, you know, when you, if your mind's not necessarily there, and it wasn't today, today has been a little bit, a bit of, a little bit of a struggle, just to uh, keep up with things. I did get a, a fair amount of work done. I did the extra work in the laundry room. The second, uh, the second dryer is up and installed, uh, in, uh, for the laundry. So I can, now I can do a full load of laundry rather than doing a half load, uh, because now I've got two dryers and uh, the dryer, uh, the dryer, one dryer only did half the load, of the the the, the uh, half the capacity uh, that the washing machine can handle. Now I can do a full full load and handle everything that uh, that the uh, washing machine does because I've now got two dryers. So. Uh, it takes up it takes up uh, a less space than my old drying system, which was basically hang dry. The hang dry uh, took about two days, but it took up a huge amount of space uh, just to hang dry the to hang dry everything. Uh, the this is quite compact, and this will dry things within uh, six hours. Everything will be dry. So happy for that! Yay for that! Uh, enjoying my. Uh, my uh, media room, uh, t my media room research desk uh, screen. I can uh, like videos. I can pause videos. Uh, basically, it's a, a, quite a nice setup, a nice system, and so I'm happy with it. And tomorrow we should be starting something new. We'll be in the music studio tomorrow. That's uh, the new setup uh, is more or less done. Uh, I still do have some. I still do have some work to do. But tomorrow will be. Uh, uh, it's functional enough. The music. The music studio is functional enough to do some work in it. I hope to have the first version of the opening theme uh, for uh, for. Uh, our life as cyborg alpha. So uh, let's hope that can d get done. But but we'll see uh, what the uh, schedule ends up being. It often determines. Uh, that's often determined by my fatigue levels. <laughs> I should be taking tomorrow out because it's, it's Thanksgiving and uh, good Black Friday. But I will be end up doing some work. That's the way it always works out. I never take. Uh, a full day off. This work is always done to some degree. Uh, it just what happens. I see it there. I say, like, well, let's do the small little thing here, and the small little thing leads to another thing, and to another thing, and to another thing, and before I know it, I've been working. <laughs> so, excuse me. Uh, I'll leave it here for now. I probably won't be back until around uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. Our starting time is a little late. Uh, our ending time and starting time is a little later than it was before. And I'm starting to slur my speech, so that means that the fatigue is setting in. Riding does tire you out. It, 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 it's hard on the body, particularly with the bumps in the road. And... Uh, after what after driving it takes about a half hour 45 minutes for the adrenaline to drop off enough that uh, you start feeling the fatigue from riding and that's what's going on now is that my adrenaline's dropped off now I'm starting to feel the fatigue and then so I'm gonna go take a bit of a rest and uh, we'll do some work in the other realm in in the dream world let's see what happens there
going to check and see what day it is. Uh, this is the beginning vlog for uh, Friday. I ended up not ending the vlog for yester for uh, for yet well for yesterday. Uh, a number of things occurred that sort of prevented me from doing so, and so I didn't. <laughs> there is uh, no ending vlog, no ending segment for the. Uh, uh, oh, the Thursday and Friday vlog, which would be uh, Thanksgiving into uh, Black Friday. So this is the end. It's the end of Black Friday right now. It's about uh, about seven, uh, nineteen hours and twenty seven minutes. This is about uh, seven thirty p.m. And that's kind of what it is now. I do have to go check some gaming that I'm doing now. Um, do, that I'm doing. Uh, it just was a, a really, really off day. Uh, I ended up having a bit of a crash, a uh, sleep deprivation crash, that caused a large chunk of the problems, and so that's where we are now. I'm still kind of, as I see, we're not looking around properly to sort of see where I'm looking at. Uh, I get distracted by things to the left and to the right, and there's stuff on the screen. And it just is, 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 it's been a, a very bizarre day today. Um, I've had, I haven't had one of these, these issues in a, in a very long time. This is, this has, uh, been the most, uh, I've ever had in terms of the issues. But this is, this is kind of the way things go. This is, this is how things exist for me. And, and, uh, it's just a matter of getting used to it. To, well, you never really get used to it. There was al there were always days that uh, uh, knock you off. You never uh, fully get uh, back to what we call normal. Uh, there is no real such thing as normal. But anyways, uh, I, I guess because I was supposed to take Wednesday off, but I didn't do that. I ended up scheduling enough stuff so that uh, Wednesday and Thursday were kind of filled. Uh, that was with the uh, doing the work on the laundry room. So I guess today, because there was no real, there was no real pressing pro project to be done. So this kind of became my day off. It came it sort of. Uh, I did have the ability to relax. The, the scooting, uh, the scooter. Uh, rides the uh, rides I take with the scooter uh, are a little hard on the arms and the hands uh, because you have to, you have to hold on to the handlebars and I have a, te a tendency to have a very tight grip when I am uh, that's because uh, well well when I'm riding because there are so many bumps in the road uh, so many uh, you know. Uh, uh, Issues that will cause the handlebars to shake, that you have to hold on very tightly, and it does cause a bit of stress. So it does. T it, said it took me about. Uh, I did vlog last night. I vlogged. Uh, uh, we could call that last night. Anyway, I vlogged around uh, midnight and one o'clock in the morning. Around I can't remember exactly what time I vlogged, but I did do that that uh, segment there. And. It was at that point in time that that's when the adrenaline had started coming off, and it didn't take too much longer uh, that I just sort of said, I'm going to bed. Uh, my eyes were closing. I had just finished the YouTube stroll, and uh, I didn't get up until oh, just maybe about an hour ago. Well, 6.30 I got up. 6, 6.30 I got up. So that was... Well, almost 12, 12 hours worth of sleep in a 12-hour vacation. But, of course, things go on while you're sleeping. You know, this is, I'm a lucid dreamer, so things do go on while, while I'm dreaming. Uh, there is a certain degree of activity, physical activity, that goes on while I'm sleeping. And so the, the sleep itself, even though it was 12 hours, was, we call somewhat restful, not completely restful. 
As I said, this is kind of the way things go. And so this is the beginning vlog for Friday. Uh, when I come back and vlog, let's say if, uh, I might be, it might be tomorrow, it might be Saturday morning or it could be later on tonight. Uh, we'll see what ends up happening. Not a bad night, or actually a continuation of the day. It is 5 hours and 44 minutes into Saturday, November 28th, 2020. It is the day after Black Friday, and Happy Thanksgiving to those who celebrated it. And And we are somewhat back on schedule again, a little early now. This is how the schedule fluctuates. Uh, I finished in the other realm. Well, I'm taking a break from the other realm right now. Right now, to do some gaming. It's raining outside, so was, the scooter ride that I had I had planned to for my parents' house uh, is no longer going to happen because, uh, well. Uh, it's raining outside, and it's uh, freezing rain. It's about 45 degrees outside, so uh, not a good, con not good conditions to be riding a scooter in. Uh, anyways, uh, back to uh, the dream realm, and uh, I guess somewhat of a dream report, <laughs> a dream vlog. Interesting. Uh, I said I'm not done yet. Uh, I'm just sort of taking a break. This is uh, when my body naturally woke up. Uh, it's more that I had to go to the bathroom than anything else. Uh, but I uh, noticed the time, and uh, this is how you get back on the schedule. So it's not that I'm fully awake yet. Uh, actually, I'm not, I'm not finished yet. I'm going to be going back. But the dreams were quite, quite interesting. The, again, the, there was a shift in the dreams. Something slightly different than before. But all the time, the dreams are... Basically, if you will, a test to see how I react in different situations. And it presents things to me, in many cases, certain realities that are hard to fathom when you're awake. What happens is that the dreams, in terms of your emotions, are uncensored. They're unfettered. And typically, when the emotions are raw like that, and this is, I guess, the difference between some of these, you know, if you look at the... Uh, uh, one of the popular anime uh, anime shows called Avatar Avatar the Last Airbender. It is the, the amount of of subtext that is there is I think even beyond the authors because the authors can bring forward things particularly within history within within a sense of of their understanding, but there is understanding beyond that. And it's in some of these characters, like, uh, I think his name is Zuko, the, 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 uh, the prince of the fire, the, the, the son of the fire lord. Uh, in many ways, th this whole thing works out, uh, the, the series, works out to be like uh, uh, Dostoevsky's uh, brother's Karamazov. The character of the uncle we meet as a kindly old man. In many ways, a wise old man. This is He's, he's the guru. But we understand he was not always that way. He is, there was a path to which brought him to his current position. And it was the choices he made all on that path that really determined who he was in terms of a character. 
and uh, and tells Zuko because Zuko's having a lot of problems uh, with his uh, with uh, his past in some ways, and actually it's his, it's, it's actually his whole mannerism, and he at Asked the uncle, well, how do you do certain things, particularly within within firebending? Because he can't really do that. And he says you have to let go of all your anger. And he talked about being selfless. And what happens is the the, the Zugo is confronted with an enormous amount of anger, and even when he does good, he is still rejected and takes this uh, rejection as an insult and this is where he becomes even further angry and that, that he acts out in his anger. The same thing is true for the character Aang who is the last avatar. It's actually he's the the last avatar with the with the arrow on his forehead if you uh, go into Indian culture understand that that, that is the mark of uh, Lord Krishna has to understand not only does he have to transcend all material uh, uh, be, uh, 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 senses but he has to transcend all of the negative emotions the negative karma uh, and this includes getting rid of his anger, controlling his anger. And this is the path that he's on. A very complex thing. And what happens is the dreams, in many ways, play out in the same mannerism that you see in The Last Avatar. You get to sort of uh, figure out who you are and how you should be behaving. And it's not an easy thing, but it is nonetheless interesting. Anyways, this comes to the end of our, this is the last segment of the vlog for for Friday, Black Friday, um, uh, November 27th, the day after Frank Thanksgiving, so anyways, uh, <coughs> seeing a couple hours for um, the opening for the long weekend, even though uh, Thursday and Friday turned out to be one day. It sort of got morphed into one thing. Uh, and Saturday is going to do the same thing. Uh, it's going to be another, uh, you know, two days that are going to merge into one. So it's going to be very little sleep. <laughs>